tournament morning, guys. We're boat number 73 this morning. There's about 80, about 80 boats in this tournament. Might be a little bit more. Big shout out to Clint for putting this on. Um, it's a benefits tournament. We actually showed up last year. You guys probably saw the video where Bradley drove his boat into the trees. This is the same tournament we fished last year. Got Katie with me this morning. And we're gonna try to put her in on them. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button. It's gonna be a good day, man. We're gonna document it. I'm gonna film as much as I can, and hopefully we're gonna whack the big fish today. The river is super high, and I thought it was gonna be a lot higher this morning. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the river plays today. I haven't been out here in a few weeks, so um, we're kind of going in this blind, which honestly I'm happy that we're doing, so I don't have a bunch of information in the back of my head. And um, we have a little game plan on what we're gonna do, so we're just gonna put the boat to drive and uh, go try to catch some big ones today. Let's get it. guys we are getting the day started at our first little spot that we pulled up to hope that they're gonna bite I'm throwing a buzz bait Katie's throwing a spinner bait and we're gonna get it started with that I'm gonna work my way back in here pretty fairly fast because I really don't want to fish right here at the mouth I'm not too interested so I'm just gonna put down the trolling motor and just go and cover water and See if we can get a couple good bites and more importantly see if we can get a bonus bite on this buzz bait because that would just be awesome. Yeah. Get it. Oh, that you gotta retie that and retie it. That's okay. Babyfish popping up there. Flip really, uh, very good on this right here. There he is. That's a good one. Yes. Heck yeah. All right, keep fishing. You good? Thank you. Shattered donk, boys. First fish already. Right where I thought we were about to catch him. All right, and that's one in the box, boys. About a pound, pound and a half if we're lucky. He felt really good when I hooked at him. I thought he was going to be two plus. That's okay. I will take it. He ate it. Yeah, that fish is very good. That was good. good he actually bit like that last one, that first bite I had. So that first one was definitely a bass. I scooped him up. <laughs> just like threw him over towards you, praying that you're gonna <laughs> scoop or just let it fall in the net. <laughs> when I saw him come up. Oh, he's a warm mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't nice. feel a bite, I just felt like a fish. Yeah, I saw your eye, I was like, you got a fish. I don't know what you got. You got the monkey off your bag, not really what we want, but <laughs> big warm mouth. He ain't gonna hurt you. You can grab him by the mouth like a bass. Yeah. Right. We're just gonna go fish around here. There's a lot. What's up? 
I just figure out, just pay, pay attention. I went cast in the middle of that. But there's been a lot of fish. Yeah. There's gonna be limbs down there, but you just gotta drag through it, make sure your bait's buried. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Doing good. Katie's on board now. We got two fish. It's right there on that tree, wasn't it? Yeah. Another side. Okay. Got him in the nose. All right. We're good to go. Cast back in there. Catch it Here we go. Fish number two. Good job. That was good. Keep it going. Get, get me uh, three more. Guys, I don't have a, I never tied a slow moving bait like a Texas rig on today. I have a big flipping rig. But I don't, I never, I didn't really tie any little finesse bait to throw around this stuff. I miss them you stick into moving baits and top water and really trying to catch the big fish today while Katie kind of goes behind me and throws a, you know, slow moving bait and kind of picks up the fish that want to eat the moving baits. So I'm just kind of looking for a big bite. Should be one up in there. Hoping I'll find one that wants this thing falling fast in front of his head. And when you caught that fish, mm -hmm. how far up was he? Pretty far up. Like up, up on the bank? Like, I caught him like where that tree is, maybe a good like four feet off. Get on this crank bite today. Crank. Could catch some big ones. And I had a damn egg roll. I'm so bloated. hunt for good ones the rest of the day. Then we'll just go, 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 go. And if we're getting bites for small fish, I don't Have you ever done weightless? Mm-hmm. Oh, there he is. Oh, yes. No, he pulled off. It's okay, it's okay. There's no way that was a big one. Right here. He hammered it. 
Oh, no, he was off the bank a little bit. Oh my god. Right behind those people too. Yeah, I know. They've been fishing it all morning. That sucked. Oh my god. Big one. That's a freaking big one. Oh. 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 That's probably what bit me. I feel a little better now. I don't know if I feel better or worse. Well, guys. Got our first muddy today. Ben, you're good? Nah. I think that first fish I hooked was a mud too. They both felt so big. I couldn't believe I threw back in there. That was a big, that was a bass. Oh, I know. I, Game over. My drag was really loose actually, a lot looser than I like it. I'm about to say we went right behind them people and hooked two big bass. I was like, okay. All right, guys, we just came out to our second spot of the day. I'm gonna catch around this chatterbait a good bit, just searching for a big one. The other's bait fish jumping right there. We got this bluff bank right here on the left side. When you go back in it, there's willow trees. Um, and I'm curious to see how much water is up on them willow trees and if I can skip this chatterbait in the back of them because I think that can be a great way of catching a really great fish right now. So we're gonna cover some water. We're gonna fish this steep bank right here first and just see if there's some fish on it and if we catch one or two on the steep bank we're gonna go down towards the mouth and fish it um because i just went all the way past this bank I, I haven't really tried it so i don't know we're gonna cover a lot of water we're gonna try to treat today like a practice day almost and um just kind of cover water because every time i fish a tournament i kind of get stuck on what what i did in practice and like i said we didn't get to practice at all and i haven't been out here in a while so I'm just going to keep an open mind and act like this is a pre-fishing day and cover water and we should put together a really good bag uh oh what are you doing why are you hitting me like that i don't think that was a bass I was a brim, which is a good sign. So it tells me that brim are pushed up in these trees in these flooded areas. And bass would be up in it and on the outskirts, pushing in, feeding, coming back, sitting on the edge of the trees. Then when the sun gets up, they'll get a little more tighter. We might need to flip that, reflip that. I'm telling you, there's big ones in this. It's just you, you can't. The, the water's so high, you know, that you just can't, unless it's the right place, right time, like a bass cruising on the edge or you skipped in a little crevice. It's the only time that I really catch these fish. Third spot of the day. Still two fish in the box, but I believe we can fill out our limit here i think um we can make it happen the water's actually very clear holy cow i was not expecting the water to be clear especially after this flood but let me tell you the water is outstanding in here at the mouth of it it wasn't this clear and i drove back here and it looks amazing so i'm gonna cover a bunch of water and see uh if we can finish off this limit and more importantly hook a couple big ones while we're at it Uh-oh. Oh, I oh, spit it out. Why'd you spit it out? Oh, man. It's right where he should have been. He might bite it again. He, like, put it in his mouth and he spit it out. <gasps> oh, my God. He's right there behind me. Oh, my gosh. That was a good bass. Please follow it down and eat it. Please follow it down. That was a good. Oh, no, I don't. Do you see my line? Oh, my God. Did he really hit you? Oh, boy. 
that. You got one? No. Some shook my rod when I was away. Sure he's not running with it? Is he running with you? No, uh huh? Yeah. Get him up in here. He's 11. You can try to measure him. I think he's 11. About to put a new swim bait on the back of this chatter donk. This is a baby sungill. You wanna rig this up? This is on the back of a black and blue. Not the best match, but I seem to have a good bit of luck with any color on the back of a black and blue chatter bait, and I rigged that up. Probably the worst rigging job. Look how bad that is. That's horrible. Probably the worst rigging job I've done in years. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Get your crawl, yeah. Throw it throw it right here. Right there. What is that? Oh wow. It's weird. Oh. It's a lizard. That fish bite you? He has it, don't he? Giant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yes. Good job. Good job. Team effort there. Heck yeah. That was good. All right, guys. Third fish. Here we go. He actually bit my chatterbait. I told Katie to throw her soft plastic in there. And sure enough, he had it. Make sure you throw on that thing right there, that old stump. Looks really good. I've had some bites on it. Got one. Really big? big. Alright, you're good. You're good. He's a big one. He's going under the oh, boat. Don't don't let no, him. Okay. What do you mean? No. You're good. Oh my god. <laughs> Freaking four pounder. Oh my god. Is he hooked? Yeah, he's hooked. Whew. That's a good one. He was right on that tree? Yeah. Oh my god. Good job. I don't know if he's quiet for. Yeah, he's hooked right there. Son of his mouth. Did you see him go under the boat? My rod went in half. Remember what I said, the timing thing? I think we hit it right on the money. If we can get five of these. Yeah, seriously. I thought he was bigger when he was, came up next to the boat. That's a three and a half pounder all day. Yes, good job. That was good job. half of you. Because Called the shot. <laughs> That's a good fish. Look at that. Katie just caught her solid three pound, three and a half pounder. That's a really good fish. I'm gonna put him on this side, big side right there. We got four fish. He just caught that other one a couple minutes ago. If we can get some more like that, I thought that fish was bigger. When he jumped next to the boat, I thought he was like four or five pounds. We need more like that. Oh my God, there's no way. I think he came off. Yep. Oh, I have him. Okay, you got him. Yes. All right. All right. Ah, he's gonna be so close. He's gonna be 11. Jake, you try to measure him though. Don't, don't ever guess it. I'm gonna put on a Texas rig because they're eating that. Good job. Thanks. Hopefully that's number five, but uh, I don't know. It's gonna be 11. It's probably gonna be 11. It's okay. I might have been a different fish because you stuck that first one. I, I literally yeah, was watching I know, it you. Was. Right before you said it, I was like about to grab the net. I was like, she got another one or he bit it again. Yeah. What came in my head was a mudfish. I was like, maybe a mudfish? What am I doing? All right, guys, I'm going to rig another Texas rig up because she had three bites instantly. And we were talking about it. It's like a timing thing. The whole time I fished the river this year, like all the times that me and Bradley went out and everything, the bite has just been later in the day. I don't, I don't know why. And so we came back to our first spot. We went to a bunch of other spots. I think she caught two fish that were... 10 inches and that was it i had a few bites they're not chasing anything they're not eating you, you this is going to be a slow day so i'm probably going to put this texas rig on and just start covering some water 
And um, I'm also gonna pick up my flipping rig and flip some of these willow trees. It's just hard to flip these willow trees now because the water's so flooded behind them. So I don't know, but we're, we're gonna just keep on chucking along. The fish are on the edge of this stuff too. So if you guys are wondering what we're doing now, Katie had all those bites on that slow moving bait. So, and there's been five boats literally in here at the same time. This isn't a huge lake. So it's been pretty crowded on um, the people that we saw here this morning. They actually came back right after we did. And um, there's just been a ton of boat traffic. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just flipping these willow trees and bushes and uh, just trying to do something different than everybody else. I don't think anybody out here is doing this right now. So kind of over here flipping all around this cover and ho in hopes of catching a five plus pounder. Cause since she caught those fish on a slow moving bait, I'm like, you know what? I need to be throwing this. Everybody's go, everybody's going around the same stuff. I've seen 10 boats or 10 times somebody's passed this today, but they're all thrown on the edge. You know, I'm getting up there way up in that stuff. So there's, there's more of an opportunity for me to catch one because the fish had possibly not had a bait in front of their nose. Uh oh, I got him. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look how fat he is. Oh my God, the net broke. What did you do? I don't know, I'm trying to get it out. Look how fat this fish is. Literally guys, went to another spot, destroyed my boat. I don't even know if I'm putting any of that in the video. And I freaking didn't have anything. Then we come back to the old reliable spot and a solid fish right there. Yes, we got five. Now we got five fish in the box, baby. Let's go. I, I trust this thing. Get him. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's a freaking big one. Just keep her coming. Keep her coming. Keep her coming. Oh, she's going under the boat. This is a big one. Oh my god, that's a huge mud. No, yeah, he was fine the same way. I thought you had a freaking toad. I caught a mud in the same spot earlier, remember? Yeah, you did. All right, guys, that way in. It's a beautiful one. Look at the colors on that fish. A cool one, in it? It's a spot. You mind holding it, brother? <laughs> Thank you, bro. Big shout out. What's your name? Riley. Really? I was in your last video. When you were in my last video, I remember. <laughs> we fished the same tournament last year. <laughs> you were here too. I remember. Oh. Did you? That's Katie's big one. Mm -hmm. Look, he's got spots on him. Ooh. 338. 3.38. Five fish, five alive for total weight. Nine point one, nine point one eight, nine point one eight. 